TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show, and um, this is a heavy bottle. Like, the other day I had a heavy bottle. Not as heavy as that, that, that one, the Uraka, as I think I pronounced it, Uraka or whatever, but anyway, um, but it's pretty heavy. So, another, well, not another, but this is a wine from Chile. This is uh, the, Sidi S oh, I should know how to pronounce this word, Sidiril, 2003. Sid oh my goodness. It's an astronomy word, astronomical word. I should know this because that was my original major in college. Sideral, the 2003 Sideral uh, from Altair Wine, or it's all vineyards and winery, Altair, uh, from Chile. This is a blend of 84% um, Cabernet Sauvignon, 10% Merlot. 4% Syrah, and 2% Sangiovese. All right, so um, I don't have an actual area of Chile. This is thing, unless they say on the back. So let's just read the back. So, uh, Asian, French oak. All right, so it's Asian French oak for at least six months. And blah, 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 blah. Winter com combines Chateau de Sals of saint Emilion Savoir Faire in creating masterpiece wines with Vigna San, Pedro, San Pedro's knowledge and experience of Chilean terroir. Okay. So, um, I can tell you that this particular vintage, 2003, got a 91 point rating from Jay Miller of Wine Advocate. Uh, also got, I think, high 80s from a couple other places. So, we'll see how I like it, and maybe I will. Okay. That was interesting. By the way, all the wines I'm doing and recording for today, they all had really interesting noses when I opened them. Granted, that first one we, we did on Monday um, seemed to have, like I even mentioned, it smelled better out of the bottle than out of the glass. Okay, so this is a, kind of a, one of those weird smells that I, I don't encounter very often, and... I'm kind of taken aback by it. I'm also just kind of hard pressed to even describe it. It's like, it's a little pungent. You know, it, 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 it does smell like wood, like a really dark stained wood. Um, like I'm in an old shop. But at the same time, there's a little bit of sweetness to it. A little dust to it. You know, like it's kind of like a little dirtiness and a little sweetness to it. Like I walked into like, you know, um, uh, you know, like a really old, almost antique shop. You know, in New Braunfels, Texas, type of thing, or Kerrville, or Fredericksburg. You know, one of those old, old, you know, older towns, smaller towns. Antique shops probably been there for a hundred years. I get a little bit of spice to it. So re interesting. A little fruitiness. I, I feel like I almost smell a little bit of of dates or raisins to it, but very, very subtle. Let's let's pour it out because I might be getting some of that old wine. I mean, I know I did a rinse, but let's pour it out and let's do let's do a little more, just to make sure. Now, this type of pour you should be getting at these wine tastings, by the way, which in the glass doesn't look like much, but since it's a big glass, it's actually quite a bit. Yeah, I don't get as much as that raisin stuff again. So, but I still get everything else I described. I right, see how it tastes.
If you watch this show a lot, you're probably going to guess why I had that little smirk on my face. Jalapenos, baby. Not like all over the place, but it's there. Really more the um, the pickled jalapenos. Now I'm getting a little sweetness to it. Like like uh, oh, see, I'm 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 loving this wine. I'm love. Thank you. I, I'm glad I got a wine I like. Which you know most of the wines I like, but I like love this one. Mmm. I forgot to put where I bought it. And how much? Frack. Uh, I guarantee you I got this at Gabriel's because the next one I bought is Gabriel's. And ugh, you know what's going to happen? It'll be on the lower third. It already has been. So I'll put, you know, where I bought it and how much it was. But... Yeah, you get like the cherries and chocolate, jalapenos. So you get the, the peppers and a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of cherry. It's not really dry. It doesn't like kill your mouth. I mean, it's 2003, so, you know, we're getting to be seven years old. It's Chilean wine. It's a seven-year-old bottle of wine. This is probably at the, near the end. It's probably, you know, peaking. Um, not a lot of tannins. Get a little bit of that milk, milk chocolate stuff. You don't get the wood flavor. This is good, and I really like it. And I will agree with Jay Miller, 91 points. Flat out. I, I do like it. Did I start the timer? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Cool. Got about eight seconds left. All right, so uh, shirts, things around money. We'll see everybody again on Monday. I definitely would buy the wine. Even if it was 15 bucks, I'd buy it. That's it. See everybody again Monday. Have a great weekend.